Welcome back, guys. You know the drill. I'm Aaron. What's up, you guys? It's Felix, and we're back with another Bulletin video. Health Center Fall Opening. The Health Center staff has been working all summer preparing for the fall reopening. They offer mental health services, sexual health services, a peer educator program called SHIFT, as well as many other resources like a list of crisis centers. The Berkeley High Health Center is located on the Berkeley High campus and will be open on a limited schedule Monday through Friday from 9 a.m. to 12.15 p.m. and from 1.15 p.m. to 4 p.m. Please note that on Tuesday they open one hour later at 10 a.m. Please see their updated flyer, which outlines how you can access their essential health services as of August 24th. Your health and safety is important. Cook with community for the community. We are pleased to announce that Sean O'Neill, winner of Gordon Ramsay's renowned show, Master Chef, will give an exclusive live virtual cooking lessons to families of Berkeley High School on September 7th from 6 to 7 p.m. The event will cost $15 and all profits go to the African American Studies Department and Black Student Union. In order to sign up and show support for these organizations, please visit this link. Chef O'Neill will be cooking his roasted garlic and mushroom risotto as you follow along with him and learn culinary techniques while making a delicious meal. Please consider signing up in order to support Berkeley organizations while also capitalizing on a unique opportunity. Fellow Yellow Jackets, here is a student clubs update. The list of registered student clubs is always available on the main Berkeley High website. Click students at the top of the page and student clubs will appear in a drop down menu. The list has the club mission, staff sponsor, and meeting information. Student clubs will begin promoting themselves via virtual club fair and promotional videos in the next few weeks. Stay tuned for more. But for now, here's a bulletin from the Berkeley High Robotics Team 5419. Board of Quarantine, like to build things, love to code, interested in entrepreneurship, want to just try something new? Join Berkelium, the Berkeley High Robotics Team, where you can learn to build amazing robots and compete in international robotics competitions. On Team Berkelium, you will learn how to work with tools and machines, wire a robot, and code the robot to do amazing things. No prior experience is necessary. To apply and learn more about the team, go to https <laughs> team5419.org. Click join and fill out the Google form. We meet on Tuesdays and Thursdays from 3 to 5 p.m. all semester. So every Wednesday starting August 26th, there will be weekly student tech help drop-in hours from 3 to 4.30 p.m. Look for an email directly from Mr. Albinson for some issues that can be addressed in the session are accessing your class Zooms through Clever, accessing your email after the password reset, and students, please bring any screenshots, video, meeting links, or other examples of your issues. If you have any issues getting on the call, please contact Matt Albinson at berkeley.net. For BUSD families, we understand that this time is hard, and so for this fall, we have a list of meals and grocery options. Berkeley High will serve breakfast and lunch meals to all enrolled students during the 2021 school year. Meals are served in the breezeway on Milvia near Kittredge Street on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. The Berkeley Food Network will provide food bag distribution to BUSD families on the second and fourth Friday of each month. The gardening and cooking program continues to operate a food pantry with Berkeley Food Network on the second and fourth Tuesday of each month from 2.30 to 4 p.m. at Berkeley Technological Academy, located at 2701 Martin Luther King Jr. Way. Fresh produce and herbs are provided from our school garden. The next food pantry occurs on Tuesday, September 8th. Community members can pick up fresh produce, proteins, and eggs, as well as frozen prepared foods and packaged goods. For more information, check your email for the bulletin to see a list of more food resources. If anyone is interested in submitting an announcement this year, you must follow by these basic guidelines. One, it must be relevant to roughly 100 or more students or staff members. Two, it must be a message that promotes community and builds up positive school culture. Three, uh, please no birthday announcements or personal requests. And you can submit your morning announcement to the Google form at the link bit.ly slash VHS student bulletin. That's all everyone. Stay safe and wear a mask. <laughs> Get juice, the jackets, juice, juice, the jackets, what?